Hello, good morning and welcome to Arena. The big news really for people who are interested in the arts this week is the arrival of Fanfare for Europe in Hull. It's rather different here, I suspect, than in most parts of the country where there have been formal concerts and people have been going along with dinner jackets on and such like because we have in Hull, over the next three days, a collection, literally a collection, the Yorkshire Artists Collection, who are a group of basically experimental people. And they will be experimenting and performing their performances and exhibiting their exhibits both in the Hull Arts Centre and in the streets of Hull and on the ferry and eventually they'll be going across on the Cross North Sea Ferry to Rotterdam to take it there. Three of the people taking part uh, came into the studio to tell me what was going to happen, as far as they knew what was going to happen. One of them was Genesis Porridge, who is fairly well known in Hull for his walking about with long hair and a berry, and also for some of the events which he's put on. His particular contribution to the Fanfare for Europe celebrations in Hull is being staged in the Ferrens Art Gallery and it's called the Ministry of Antisocial Insecurity. And first of all, I invited him to explain what that was about. There'll be a two pedestal wooden desk on a square of governmentally boring lino with a filing cabinet with three files in it and a typewriter and a letter rack and a telephone and a secretary and a doorman, basically, and then two benches for people to come in and sit on while they're waiting to make claims. So much for the setting, but what's going to take place there? Um, well, that's partly up to the members of the public, partly up to the staff of the ministry. Being one, being the main manager, the uh, top manager of the ministry, I won't be there because the manager's never there when you want him. So they'll just be the secretary and the doorman and uh, they're going to run it themselves very much as the dole office is run. There'll be Miss Gateway to doing the forms and there'll be a claim form and uh, a status form to decide what your occupation is and an appeal form if you don't agree. And then when you filled those in you get a signing on card to try and get some money. But when you get the pay slip it always says nothing <laughs> because the Ministry of Antisocial Insecurity never pay anybody. Is this an expression of some traumatic experience <laughs> in your life? <laughs> well, I have found myself frustrated in attempts to get money for about six years, and I've had to fill in a great number of forms and make out a lot of, of reports and go through a lot of signing and rubber stamping and what have you, which might have had a little bit to do with this slight spoof, I suppose. If a visit to the Social Security Office is very similar to the experience which you're mounting in uh, the Ferrens Gallery, why wouldn't you recommend people to go along to the real one? What's the point in staging an alternative? Which well, is it's the not an alternative, it's an extension. And the theme of the whole fanfare is Europe. And the bureaucracy and form filling are probably going to get worse and worse, which explains why this has happened. And uh, it is. We've tried it out ourselves and it is as boring and laborious and difficult and frustrating as it is applying for a grant from anyone. But also it's linked with applying for arts grants as well. And at the same time there's an exhibition of Picabia documentation, a Dada exhibition at Ferrens, which links in with this in that there are references to the same exhibition on the forms. And uh, the whole thing is in a vaguely similar vein. Of thought, you see. Do you see this thing as an art exhibition in uh, using the word art to mean something visual or as a piece of theatre or as some combination of both? Well, uh, I applied to the Yorkshire Arts Association for a grant under visual arts as it was in an art gallery and it got accepted for a grant but they changed the definition to experimental arts and they're sponsoring it as experimental arts so is there in fact an experiment taking place? Well, I didn't say there was, it was them, so I presume you'll have to ask them what they think. <laughs>